वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे लेक्चर ऑन साइंटिफिक प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर बीटर गार्ड यूनिट टू लेक्चर नंबर टेन सेकंड पार्ट फॉर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ हॉल्ट फाइव जीरो फोर एम एस सी फर्स्ट टाइम हॉट एक प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर वेजिटेबल एंड ट्यूबर क्रॉस सो जस्ट गो टू द next slide from the complete of uh, last uh, video classes i have complete two many slides from nutrition management i have been today i have complete today the video classes from nutrition management of bitter gods there is a nutrition management so it's uh, start now just from the plowing the field for the okra bitter gourd cultivation and uh, just from the time of 3 to 4 times of uh, plowing and uh, apply to 25 to 20 tons of fim at the last plowing of the field preparations the recommendation dose of fertilizer for the bitter gourds crops it's 100 50 50 kg ratio of the npk kg per hectare per for the good crop growth and developments of the bitter gourds so it's very uh, optimum for the opt for the optimum uh, yield and production of bitter gourds so begin to being the shadow root its vegetable its uh, shell rooted and uh, roots are mostly considered for the 60 cm of the soil and uh, crops should be the irrigated immediately after the planting in summer and subsequently irrigation at the rate of 2 uh, to 3 days interval until the flowering adds uh, very importance for the well growth and developments of the plants so it's uh, uh irrigation is very important for the nutrition management and nutrition applications by the fertigation systems and just um, go for the flowering and fruiting of the oak bitter gourds and uh, just uh, what the difference between the bitter gourd female flowers and male flowers some show its comparison to and difference between the ovary and uh, lower part of the uh, flowers so it's they are showing the uh, difference between the male and female flower of the bitter gourds this is all to this is uh, very important for the fruit settings and breeding programs also emasculation and hybridization program of the bitter gourds so it's a very Uh, commonly uh, importance to breeding programs so it's uh, go to the identification of the flower so use this is the emasculation and uh, hybridization programs for the breeders and uh, with the students for the communication of uh, each to students so very important for the breeding programs so just uh, difference and uh, after the emasculation and hybridization so and uh, pollination so which uh, formation of the fruits and developments so it's there the flower female and male flowers then completing the hybridization uh, by cross pollination and uh, formation of the fruits and uh, second slide second photos photographs can be show the fruit developments at the bully house of this campus so it's very important to uh, fruit developments and just uh, irrigation of the bitter gourds uh, bitter gourd is uh, do not tolerant to droughts and uh, maintain the centimeter 50 cm of the soil moisture at uh, the moisture level of these root zones it's during the interval stage of growth and irrigation of the 3 to 4 days in intervals and alternate day during the d- during the flowering f- up to the until the flowering and fruiting also 
its furrow irrigation is the ideal method for the irrigation is uh, used to the open field condition and under the protected cultivation can be used to um, better guards only by the fertigation systems can be used to irrigation methods so its uh, drip line can be suitable for the fertigation systems then bead controls is a very well and uh, well weed management conduct the beatings and uh, ranks of uh, the soil it's the time of fertilizer applications it's uh, earthing up is done during the rainy season on the following of uh, 25 to 30 days after the sheet sowing so it's very important for the maintain the uh, competitions from man crops to and uh, man crops into in the beet plants so it can be a thing of, of the seedlings to maintain the spacing and uh, maintain the density of the plants per unit areas so it's depend on the spacing and uh, uh, bits and uh, season also it's very important for the spreading type of varieties can be maintain the long distance of the spacing and uh, small types of varieties can be used to the high density planting so it's very important to the density planting high density planting can be used to maintain the thing up and uh, maintain the training pruning of the plants to uh, growth and developments of the plants so it's used to bead management uh, there are the disease management of bitter words like first is a body mildew is very dangerous uh, disease uh, it can be color or call, causal organism can be used to um, spreadings of the fungal infections it's uh, there are the symptoms like uh, white uh, floaties and somewhat the circular of the patches and spots with the patches and spots appear on the under the surface of the deeps and uh, severely attacks leaves becomes uh, brown and defoliations may occur it's very dangerous to the food formations and leaf developments and maintain the quality of the leaves so it's uh, um, defect to the affected to the photosynthesis and check of the plant growths the fruits of attack plant do not develop fully and uh, remain the small quantities of the plants the disease consists of the occur mostly on the cucumber musk melon and pumpkin also affected by this disease so it's very important disease to the cucurbitaceous families it's also controlled by the uh, fortnite spray of the carbon regime 0.1 percent of the uh, use of the spray of the um, plants and uh, calcium in can also be used to 0.05 percent of carathens and 0.5 percent of and uh, sulflex sulflex 0.2 percent have been found the effective seed can seeds uh, its uh, treatments and uh, seed bed drenching of the systematic fungicides also be protects to the uh, leaves of the plants so it's further used to um, this type of the chemical can be used to power mill to controls and it's very dangerous to the successful cultivation of the plant growths so next one is the fusarium pills is a very dangerous to the fusarium axis for among the collateral organism its uh, symptoms also in the older plants can be leaves wild uh, suddenly and uh, with cooler and uh, one less of the uh, color reasons becomes to yellow and one of the leaves in the fingerprints of the leaves so it's very dangerous to the photosynthesis and dryness of the plants to check the growth and developments of the plants 
so its control by the disease can be checked so to some exact and trenching of the soil with the captain or hexocorps or thyroids thyroids and 0.2 to 0.3 percent of the solution can be used to control of the few serum built of the bitter words so it's very dangerous to control the so it's very dangerous to uh, cultivation of the okra um, uh, bitter words and it's controlled by the use of captain hexacorps and thyroid also so very common use to uh, fungicides to control the fusarium build also so and uh, um, uh, then insect and pest can be attacked to uh, bitter gods by the first one is the red pumpkin beetle red pumpkin beetle is the beetles attack the most of the bitter gods and at the seedling stage is especially at uh, cotyledonary leaves in this stage they make the hole on cotyledonary cotyledonary leaves and serve damage is caused at this stage and although they attacks the, the attacks the uh, vine in the ground grown up stage also muskmelon and pumpkin and uh, cucumber and watermelon are attacked mostly on the exceptions of uh, bitter guards so control we can be done can be done by the spraying of the corporal and uh, seven also be used to control of the red pumpkin beetle carboril can be used of uh, the rate of 0.1 percent to 0.2 percent and rover also be used to 0.1 percent of the controls of the red pumpkin beetle and it's very dangerous to the control uh, it's very dangerous to the cultivation of uh, um, bitter words and some other cucurbits crop in the open field conditions so very more attack very very high attack to the open field condition of the uh, bitter gods so it's controlled by the rover and fruit fly is this is the serious phase to bitter words and uh, mocust and fly causes the self damage of the young developments of leaves fruits and the fly attack is a severe condition when it is the humidity is the high quantities of the plants there is no direct control to magnets of megots and uh, because they are the inside of developments of the fruits so its fruit fly can be attacked to the fruits and uh, internal parts of the fruits so damaged by the fruit fly in go for the vestige and uh, uh, not good quality when attracted of the infected plant of uh, fruit flies so it's controlled by using the light wrap in the night and poison and weights and uh, the spray of thyroids thyodon at the rate of 6 ml per 4.5 liter of water and all sprayly in checked by the fruit fly insecticide incidence controlled by the um, third on third on and uh, it's very dangerous insecticides to control the fruit flies for the any stage of the attacking in the crops durations and uh, it's uh, also affected by the mites um, to they are a spiny causal of the plants it's uh, very important to the successful cultivation of uh, beetle gods and uh, it is the importance to uh, successful cultivation of the mites very affected to the curly disease of the curly effect on the plants so it's uh, very dangerous to the photosynthesis and other uh, coenol phos and uh, and fine leaves made to web colonized and venstral side of uh, 
the leaves both the nymphs and adults can be suck of the juice of the plants so it's check the growth and developments of the plants and uh, it's uh, very important to speaks to on the upper surface and leaves and uh, gradually leaves in turn pale and then dry up to the leaves to affected by the mite crops mites mites it's controlled by the spray of the dijon dijonon can be used to at the rate of 0.03% and uh, levicides and 0.05% of is affected by the effective control of the mite so it's a very important and dangerous disease to infected by the mite it's controlled by the diagenome can be used to control of the mite disease so it's very important to cultivations and there are the hybrid seed production or seed production of the bitter gourds for the open field condition and some other areas is used to seed production conditions it's the seed purchases from the very high quality very high rate of the market price so it's go to the seed production of the farmer and scientist can be used to production of uh, seed from the uh, bitter gourd crops so it's uh, um, following the many principles of the seed production and fruits are harvested when the fruit turn yellow color in the fruits this is the indication of the turn yellow to maturity level of the fruits to uh, harvesting of the seed production so it's very important for the collection of the seed from the mature fruits so it's a, um, it's very 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 good times and the turn yellow is the fruit indications to ready for the harvesting of the plants so seeds along with the red placenta or rubids against the uh, against the hard and surface and uh, and uh, washed in the running waters and dried under the shed conditions so its seeds can be collected from the uh, placentas and uh, at the condition of the running water and it is the also be drying on the sand condition because it's uh, very sensitive to highlight on the spreading of the surface to damage to seed surface so it's very important to the uh shedding conditions for the dryness of the drying of the seeds how can uh, what is the yield of the seed yield can be the seed production conditions it's uh, very important for the food seed production uh, persons and uh, seed yield of the uh, 200 to 250 kg only seeds from the uh, one hectare of the bitter gourds so it's a very well amount of the per hectare of the areas and there is a very importance to the harvesting for the flowering of uh, from, uh, stage are started from the 45 to 55 days and the first picking could be then in the 60 to 70 days after the planting depending upon the varieties and uh, planning season and uh, soil type of the management practices also and immature tender fruits are harvested to uh, the color of tender fruits is uh, the light green and dark green of the brightest green and uh, depending upon the varieties to yield of the uh, Uh, crops so at the fully ripe stage the color of fruits turn yellow and orange and for the uh, seed and purpose for the harvesting it is the fruits are harvested at the stage for the 
uh, yellow turn to yellow stage to orange and seed purpose its importance to the seed purpose harvesting and green color can be also be used for the fresh vegetable markets to consumption as vegetable crops so its very importance stays to the harvesting of the bitter gourd at fully ripe stage the color is uh, fruits are turn yellow and importance to the harvesting stage to different part and different times for the different condition of the demand of the plants or markets also the fully ripe stage can be color of the fruits turn to yellow or orange to seed purpose for the fruits are harvested on the stage its stage very importance to the seed harvesting and uh, the yield of the bitter gourds varies according to the system of cultivation like open field cultivation and protected cultivation of the bitter gourds its uh, two different conditions and systems and drilling system also be used in the open field condition or um, protected condition drilling system is a supporting um, system for the uh, vine of the bitter gourds to improve the fruit quality and more number of plants from the coming of the uh, open field condition or uh, other condition also and uh, season and uh, several uh, fat of the factor can be affected to the yield of uh, bitter gourds the average yield of uh, uh, varies from the 11 to 15 ton per hectare can be used to fresh markets for the bitter gourds of uh, uh, um, uh, fruits so thank you very much and any query any questions please go to the comment box and raise your hands as a comment and uh, at the at the and uh, comment box so thank you very much please go to the reference book to more details and cultural practices on the bitter guard crops so it's thank you very much okay thank you